you know, I've heard the rumors and I, I've seen the pictures. Uh-huh. And the boy is pretty big right now. <laughs> and I don't know if the cut is part of his strategy to gain more time. That is just speculation, but I don't feel like from what I've seen that he can make 160 again. I think he could probably make 160, but I don't think he would be any good at 160. And, you know, like, like I keep telling, telling my team, we need to get a fight or two, and we need, that's a fight that if Chavez Jr. is campaigning at 168 pounds, uh, I feel like that's a fight that has to happen with me and him. Mm-hmm. Because he doesn't have, what, who, is, who are his pay-per-view options right now? Mm. And, and like now, I don't have a lot of, I don't have a boatload of pay-per-view options. And uh-huh. HBO is in the pay-per-view business. And uh-huh. a premium network television fight is great. That's good. But that's a fight that needs to happen, especially if he can't make 168. There's no sense of avoiding it. That's something that, that I feel needs to get happen. So uh, I hope he doesn't make 160 anymore. I hope he's at 168 because... Uh, that's that's good business for everybody involved. As far as the 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 who's exciting, who's not exciting, I don't. First of all, like I know who starts that. And I'm not gonna give them any play right now by saying their name, but I know I know who they were and they know who they were. But boxing is going through a fad over the last ten years or something like that, with the inception and, and the growth of MMA, where you know there's this if, if it's not a bloodbath. If it's not uh, two guys cut, busted up, both guys going to the hospital, then it's not, quote-unquote, an exciting fight. And Mm -hmm. if you look at the number one and the number two pound-for-pound fighters in the world, they've both been accused of the same thing. So, to my opinion, there's something wrong with that picture. That's not a reflection on the fighters. That's a reflection on the sport. When you got your number one and your number two not getting the, the respect that they deserve, then that's a reflect, uh, reflect on support. And and, and 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 furthermore, I don't have to answer to, to any of these people because you know a lot of the people that are that are trying to push that agenda. See, it's people. It's certain websites that have agendas. It's certain website guys and website writers who have agendas. And. The fans know who they are. If you if you always talk bad about a particular fighter, fans aren't stupid. They know that, and then yeah. always talk good about another type of fighter or, or or a type of style of fighter. And a lot of times, the guys that are really pushing that agenda, they've never fought a day in their life, so they don't. But, but they, you gotta understand. I know what it feels like to be cut and to be stitched up. I know what it feels like to be dropped, to be buzzed in a fight. I know what it feels like to get up from being dropped and to keep fighting and finish. So I know what it feels like to be in a 12-round grueling fight and can't get out of bed the next day. I know what that feels like. I've been in this sport 20 years, and I've paid my dues, and I'm going to continue to pay my dues. So I don't pay a lot of that stuff a lot of mine. I honestly stopped reading websites except Fight Hype a long time ago because it's, it's just because you get a domain name, and start a website does it make you a boxing expert <laughs> and it's no longer people <laughs> just giving a clear honest you know assessment of what's going on or breaking down a particular fight or a fighter it's very personal I don't like this guy because of this or I don't like that guy because of that well that's not what boxing is about imagine how Muhammad Ali would have been treated in this day dancing and floating around the ring the way he did, sometimes not even throwing a punch. So is he not exciting, but we called him the, the, the greatest fighter of all time. We mm-hmm. have Floyd Mayweather, who's a living legend in our sport right now, and they say he's not exciting. I mean, that's not a reflection on us. We yeah. paid our dues. That's a reflection on some of the guys that are writing that stuff. So in short, I didn't see a lot of that stuff. I saw some retweets and different things like that, but it's part of the game, and I agree with you. I do appreciate those guys because... I'm not fighting right now, and I do appreciate the extra buzz because for them not liking me as much as they say they don't, as much as they say they do, they're talking about me often. So I do appreciate that.